Well, it's one of the most inspirational true stories of our lifetime. A group of cave divers and doctors from around the world, including Australia, coming up with a high-risk rescue plan for a group of boys trapped underground in rising floodwaters. The life-or-death emergency was rapidly unfolding in Thailand as an international rescue operation was being launched. As every hour went by, the chances of survival were dramatically reduced, with even those who hatched the plan privately fearing that all 12 boys and their coach might not make it out alive. Now, a new documentary is telling that inside story. Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Javid Davis spoke to the director and one of the hero divers. Deep underground in the most unforgiving of terrain, 12 terrified boys and their soccer coach in a cave unable to move with rising monsoon waters all around them. The conditions in the cave were impossible. There was a very strong feeling that the children couldn't be still alive. Miraculously, they were. Discovered nine days later by British cave divers Rick Stanton and John Valanthan. How, how many of you? Thirteen. The rescue tells how the missing children were finally found. Then the complex, dangerous mission to sedate them and bring them out by travelling underwater. Welcome to the show, Chai and Rick. Fantastic to see your faces over Zoom. Rick, what's it like for you to delve back into this experience that I can only imagine would come to define your life? Well, it probably will do, yes. I mean, I think uh, we, we delved back into it for a reason, because we wanted people to see uh, what we had done and how we had achieved it. You know, every day we'd go in on the rescue days and bring four people out and we made it look easy or people didn't engage with what went on. It was all so successful. So we deliberately wanted to make this documentary so people could, could feel and understand the, the, the depth of what, what we had to go through. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. Trying to wriggle through holes that I couldn't wriggle through. Finding a bigger space, sliding through, and then repeating it again and again. It's directed by Jimmy Chin and Elizabeth Chai Vassarelli, who won an Oscar for the documentary Free Solo. How many thousands of hours of footage did you have to look through to pick out these kernels to tell the story? A lot. I mean, it was an enormous amount of archival footage. I mean, it just, that was the task of making this film. It was always going to be a forensic exercise. As we left, pretty much all of them came and hugged us individually. I made them a promise that I would come back. I am really happy. We, we are happy too. If you can take us back to the moment when you and John emerged to see the faces of the boys in the cave, how you felt leaving those children and, and knowing we, we may be the only people that ever see these people. Like that is, that blows my mind. We, so you have to, you know, to take yourself a little bit further back. As we were going in, we were feeling around underwater in a medium where you couldn't see, expecting to feel 13 drowned bodies. So you take your mind from doing that and the tension of that to they all just walk down in front of you. That's just such a massive relief. It, that, you know, it's unbelievable. And so, but then within that, moments later, shock, now what are we going to do? We've had this incredible journey to get there. There's no way these kids are going to get out the way we've come in. What do we do now? Believe. Come on, believe. believe. The doco contains a mix of reenactments from the divers and never released video from inside the cave. The filmmakers managed to get it from the wife of a Thai admiral. We anticipated maybe an hour of usable footage. It turned out to be 87 hours and was one of those like documentary miracles, like where every critical moment happened to be there. The rescue is being released in cinemas next Thursday. I told the guys, this is a one-way trip. Once you start, you cannot stop. Oh, that is I can't wait to see that. That's must-see, isn't it? Isn't that is it? Awesome. Brilliant interview. Well done, well done Jab.